Okay, today we are doing the foam roller stretch. Now, this is the 10 minute foam roller stretch, and what this is going to work on is trying to get you opening up between your shoulder blades. So when you're lying on the foam roller, you're going into extension and retraction. It also opens up the chest. So a lot of people get very tight when they are. If they're rounded like this, okay, because they're at a computer or they've got bad posture. They get tight in their thoracic because they go into a kyphosis, into flexion. Um, and that also shortens the front, so they get really tight in their pec minor and their pecs, and all the neural structures in the front get tight as well. So we're going to do a stretch for you today called the 10-minute foam roller stretch, and it opens all that up. Now, 10 minutes is meaning that's what you're going to build up to. Right? I don't expect people to start off 10 minutes at the start. Start off maybe 2 minutes and then build up to 10. And it doesn't have to be every day. So get on your roller and get yourself right get yourself right in the middle of the roller. Make sure you are still got your bum and still got your head on the roller. And you start off by getting to neutral spine. So with your lower back here, you shouldn't have too much gap here. I want you to try and make sure you just flatten a little bit. I don't want you to imprint and completely flatten it, right? But just flatten it a little bit. And the way to do that is push down a little bit of weight through your heels. Just rock your pelvis back a little bit there. So there's a little bit of a gap here, not too much. And that will stretch out your lumbar spine as well, which is a really nice thing to have done. And it gets you active between your legs as well. So it gets your, your glutes on, a little bit of weight through the heels and get that stretched out through there. The next thing is you want to make sure your head is long as well. So you don't want to be in this position, all right? And sometimes if you've got a big thoracic curve in here, it'll put you into that position, okay? So you've got to be long there, okay, long here. And then watch the ribs. They've got to be down as well, okay? So a little bit active through your abdominals, getting the ribs down. And what that's going to do is that thoracic kyphosis you've got going on there will help stretch that out over time. This is why it's a 10 minute stretch. Um, because it takes a little bit of a stretch over a long period of time. Okay, you can't go too hard on these things for a short period of time. Then your hands go down. Now, the rule is your hands and your elbows have to be touching the ground all the time. All right? So what I want to see is you start off lower back, all right, head, ribs down, hands and elbows on the ground. Okay? So you're starting in that position. What you then try and do is slowly move your hands up in that direction, okay? Without your hands or your elbows coming off the ground. So what I, you can't do this, okay? So if you get to the point where you feel like your hands are going to come up, that's as far as you can go. You've just got to make sure you don't get any pins and needles or numbness going through your feet. You've gone too far at that point. So, when you come up, you should feel a big stretch through the front of the chest, and that's the pec stretching out your pec minor, a little bit of shoulder capsule, and, and soft tissues through the front. And you get to the point where you've got that really deep stretch through there, and then make sure your shoulders haven't come up. Okay, so make sure your shoulders are down, they're attracted, they're depressed, you're really opening up, palms up to the ceiling. And it's 10 minutes at that point there. Okay, so once you get that point, it's 10 minutes. You may find as you get looser throughout the first few minutes, you can go a bit higher, but just make sure you don't get any pain or pins and needles coming down the arm. Stretch pain here is okay as long as it's tolerable, but just remember if you're going to be there for a long period of time, you want to make sure you're not damaging any tissues. So take it easy for the first few minutes, and if one minute's enough, that's fine. And just build yourself up to get to 10. And then once you've done that, you'll find that you're really sort of quite warm between your shoulder blades. You're a lot loose. You've got a lot more opening up through here, which really helps you when you're pressing overhead. It also helps you with your posture when you're sitting and standing. Um, and you'll just feel a lot looser through there. Okay.